everybody, welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, my unboxing was done over two different days and three different deliveries, but it all goes together as one item. And as you saw in the title, I got a new Pushad box called the You Go Anywhere Pushad box. Some people call them pochade. I believe they're called pochade. I think that's a French term. I wanted to show this to you because it is the lightest thing I have found. I do have the large um, advanced watercolor easel that you all have seen and it comes in a big duffel bag and it's lightweight but it's so bulky. And by the time I put everything in the duffel, it's just like all over the place. So not really conducive to throwing a backpack on my back and getting ready to go, which I'm going to be showing you how I pack up my plein air setup. Um, actually, not the full setup, but how I pack it into my bag to go somewhere. And that will be in another video. <coughs> Excuse me. So today's video is just me unboxing and then showing you the setup of this new Pushad. Um, I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to get out in the field to use it. I will be taking it on vacation with me and I will be doing some plein air videos. I hope to. That entails me carrying my Pushad two tripods, and a chair, along with all my other goodies, um, my paints, my pencils, pens, all that, brushes, everything else. So the weight adds up very quickly, but I do use a good backpack that has a hip belt, shoulder harness, and of course the straps. So it's meant for backpacking. Oh, and I know somebody's going to ask me about my t-shirt, what it says. So I will back up and you can read it. I thought that was funny because I do feel that way, honestly, you know, I'm the same age as old people now, <laughs> but I don't feel it. I'm going to fast forward um, through the unboxing and then I'll just do the setup so we can keep this short. Otherwise, it's going to be, I think I have like an hour and 20 minutes worth of video that I have to cut out. So here we go. This is it. This little bitty thing. Okay, this is a Sennelier, or no, this is a Schmincke watercolor palette. And that's how big this is. It's so small. So this has a um, torque style hinge on it so that it'll stay put in whatever, whatever, um, place you put it and I believe it goes completely horizontal so it has many magnets and this is what it looks like inside this is to put your paper your book whatever on um, it'll take up to they say nine inches high and the reason they say that is because they want you to have at least five magnets holding your surface on otherwise it can become unstable uh, these magnets are strong but you can they're not as strong as the ones that I have on my other Pashad box so um, so they say you can go up to nine inches another feature of this is because they've hollowed things out it has made it very lightweight this is your palette this is plastic you can order glass palettes if you prefer. This is acrylic and uh, it's these are all stain resistant and you can take the palette out here. This has magnets that adhere adheres to this. You just slide this out and if it's dirty and you want to flip it, you can flip it and put it back in that way. Or if you want to use a glass palette, you can slide your glass in that way. Um, They've hollowed this portion out to decrease the weight as well. That's the only reason for doing that. And they reinforce this area because this is where your tripod mount will adhere to on the other side. 
can put that on. Now you may ask, where do I get a Peshad like this? And the answer is, if you live in a city, you can buy them at Dick Blick, all locations, uh, as well as all Hobby Lobby locations. So they sell them at Hobby Lobby and Dick Blick. So you have, if you have access to either one of those nearby, then you can go and pick one of these up. I will be reviewing it. Um, I did do a little painting inside uh, my um, studio here just to get a feel for having my substrate upright instead of horizontal. You can do horizontal with this. This does lay flat, but it, it's so far away from you because you have the palette in front. I guess I could turn sideways, but then you can't really turn your book sideways unless you're using a very small substrate. So there are things like that to consider, but you can lean it back. And I think over time, we'll get used to that kind of a thing. I used to paint upright and never had a problem. It's just been, I've been doing it flat for so long that it is, I'm sorry, I keep wiggling. That is very different for me right now. It just doesn't feel comfortable yet, but it will get there. So yes, it says right here on their website, you can go to newwaveart.com. I'll just post it right here. Oops, sorry about the bruise. I have bruises everywhere. You guys, I had another fall. This one's a big one. Uh, I was coming into my house because I was going to a doctor's appointment, which had been canceled, and they didn't let me know. And I got there, and the doctor had COVID, so I had to leave. That was my cardiology appointment. But when I before I left, I didn't want to be late, but I thought, oh, I forgot my cane. In the house, I don't use it as much. Probably should because of my foot drop. But... Um, I went to walk into the house to go grab it, and I stepped up on the step in the garage and didn't bring my toe up high enough, so I face planted. I had coffee. Luckily, I had iced coffee, so the top was screwed on, and I didn't spill a drop, plus there, but I mean, I am bruised here, really bad, bruised here. Down the fronts of my legs, my shins are completely purple. I'm on Plavix, the blood thinner, right now because of my heart issue that I just had recently. And bruises here. and I was just bruised up all over. But thank God, no breaks, no problems. I was just a little stiff yesterday. Okay, so the second side panel came after I unwrapped the first side panel. So I have both of them now for each side. So I'm just going to step right over and show you the full setup for the push -up. Okay, so when you get it packed up, this is how I would pack it with everything layered together and these cinch bands going around it. Um, any universal tripod mount fits with this tripod. So I'll take it off to show you here. Um, this is actually from one of my other one of my other easels. So I put it on here. I would have turned it sideways, but then the shelves don't fit on well with this big. A lot of the universal things are smaller, but I left it that way for now till I figure out what I want to do. So, and then you pull up on it like this. I still don't have that tightened right. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Pull it up like this. And then you can push this down, pull this up. These are just magnetized, so they just stick on. They say the limit for height is nine inches on this easel just because of magnet strength. When you start to pull it way up here in a high wind, it could fall. So they'd rather you have more magnets involved. Um, <clears throat> then for the side trays, which just came today, um, you put them... Put this on like this, and then you snap it underneath like that, and there's a magnet here that it clicks on to. And the same for the other side. I guess you could do it this way too if you wanted to do it like this and put the tray on last. 
You can do it that way as well. So there is the full setup. I'll just grab this big book. It's kind of big though. I'll put it like this. You can put it on your easel like that. And then I would take a clip to hold the pages up because it's so thick. Whoops. So I would do this and that would hold it in place. And then I'm all ready to paint. Now if I'm painting with gouache, let's say I'm painting with gouache. Here's my water cup. I've got a smaller water cup I could use, but um, I don't know, we'll see how this one works. I was also thinking about, I'll show you my other plan. And then here's my paints. I'm not gonna keep them open because they're all gooey right now. But um, I would do that. And then I have my brushes. Grab a couple brushes. I can actually set them in my water cup or I can set them on, got it backwards, or I can set them on this side. I'm a lefty, so everything goes on the left for me. Uh, and I could also do it like this where I take my shelf and they show you to double these up. Actually put that around, around your um, shelf like this and then twist it and do it again. And then you've got a nice tight band to hold your brushes if it's windy or whatever. Except I got them up, I got them too low. Hang on a second, can't be on that metal bar. There we go. Could put them below the metal bar or whatever. And then if I want to put my brushes in, I can just do that. And they will stay put real easy that way. The other cup that I said I would use is uh, the metal cups. And these that you use for oil painting. I would just take these lids off because you don't need them. And then I have metal here that I can adhere this like this to that magnet actually it's better like that and then that way I have the ability to get my paint rinse I have a towel hanging under here you can also do something else with your your little um, cinches I can take them and I can hook a carabiner underneath and if you're an oil painter or whatever, you can hang your bucket from there. Or if you want a water bucket from there, I always have a viewfinder with me. You can also do this and hook a towel through so that you have your towel right there ready to wipe with when you're painting. So take my paint, paint a little bit, rinse, wipe, and then I can mix on here. And I already have some white on there from earlier when I was practicing. Using gouache upright is very easy. With watercolor, um, it could probably be a bit more challenging if you're going to try to do a wet and wet technique because it's all going to run down. But you can also lay these flat if you want to work flat. The only thing is, is you're going to be working over your palette. Or you could turn it around the other way. You can't really turn your book sideways unless it's smaller than nine inches open. For my other palette, my watercolor palette, this also fits, shoot, this stuck to my new paint. This also fits over the magnets as well. So I, if I was gonna use this, I would stick it on. It sticks to the magnets here. So it's pretty good and then I can Put my water cup on there. And just a little FYI, that watercolor palette I'm using is aluminum, which is non-magnetic. But since it has a magnet in the bottom for the, the steel pans to stick to, the magnet is actually pulling against the other magnet. So it works. I didn't think it would work, but it does. Like that, or the other way so that it's straight. There we go. And then I've got my watercolor. And I can paint. So that's it. I'm going to take this on vacation and we will see 
how the whole thing works out. Um, excuse my mess over here on the right. I'm packing everything and I've got crap everywhere. And I've also been doing another video, a painting video in watercolor that will be coming out soon as well. I'm getting backlogged on my editing though, so I got to get busy with that because I have a book review for you. I've got either one or two painting videos. I'm not sure. And then I'll be starting my plein air painting. And I'm not sure how many of those I'll film because they can be kind of hard to film, but we'll see. It's just an extra tripod to carry and that's a lot of weight. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the Pashad box. It does not have a drawer in it to store extra items. So you would have to carry that in your pack or use something like this or a makeup bag or something to carry your extra things in. And uh, yeah, it's lightweight. Uh, I don't think I told you the weight on that. Let me calculate that and I will tell you real quick what the weight total is. I think it's 1.37 pounds, let's see, which is very light. I've got pushads that start at like five pounds and then you're adding your stuff to them. Craziness. The palette itself is 1.35 pounds. And then, and that includes the plastic palette uh, side trays. Here we go. And the 4x8 side tray is 0.4 pounds. So 0.8 pounds. So we're looking at 5, 11, it's 2.15 pounds for the whole unit. And then, of course, you have to carry your tripod. Uh, and I always suggest an aluminum tripod because anything he other than that is going to be heavier and it'll be a load on your body. You want a sturdy enough tripod, check the weights, the weight limits on your tripod so that you don't end up with a tripod that is too lightweight for your work. I have a heavy pushad box. Um, I think it's called the Blackfoot, but um, it's, it's small. And I had a Manfrotto, nice Manfrotto tripod, and the thing fell apart. It just fell apart. That tripod was expensive. And then now I'm using the tripod that came with my advanced watercolor easel. That plastic one that I show you that sits on the legs and then there, it looks almost like a music stand on the top. Uh, that's a nice one too, but I'd only want to use that locally because it's cumbersome, it's big. And I'm going to be carrying this backpack when I go out plein air painting. Okay, that's it everybody. Remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care. God bless you all, and 